Developers working on cloud-native applications usually work in an environment characterized by small teams and loosely coupled services. This environment usually has high levels of automation that accelerates feedback via testing and deployment, open source software such as Kubernetes, and other cloud-native foundation building blocks. When coupled with a culture and set of practices called DevOps, cloud-native application development is proven to help developers to increase their productivity dramatically. Application developers on Kubernetes use the containerized open source OpenEBS to easily deliver needed storage functionality in a way that is familiar to cloud-native developers and architects. With OpenEBS, developers use well-known Kubernetes commands and APIs to do persistent storage provisioning and operations, improving the resilience of storage in a way that is typically entirely behind the scenes for developers. OpenEBS is the most broadly deployed open source container attached storage or CAS storage software. The storage software is completely containerized and orchestrated by Kubernetes, like other Kubernetes resources. The CAS architecture model enables each developer or DevOps team to have a storage controller dedicated to an application, giving the developer complete granular control of the storage for that workload. A key part of these stateful deployment test and deployment pipelines is the ability to take read-only copies of live data for development and test. These read-only copies are called snapshots. The management and performance of them is simplified significantly by OpenEBS. The way it works is that operation architects as the pipeline owners integrate OpenEBS snapshot and restore capability into CI pipelines so that a dynamically updated data is made available to developers. Thanks to integration with Kubernetes snapshot commands, the ability to then take snapshots can be exposed to developers. As an example, developers may take a snapshot of live data, modify it as part of their development and test, and then with one command, delete this extraneous snapshot once they check in their code. 